Advanced marine propulsion. Is it really advanced? Hello everybody, I am Nick the Naval Architect, and today I'm going to be reacting to a video that highlights some advanced marine propulsion systems. As always, the purpose is not to criticize these videos, but to show the technical perspective and technical reactions to what is usually a vendor sales pitch. So let's get into this and see what we can discover. MJP stands for Marine Jet Power. They make water jets. So we've got a video coming up about water jets. All right. Mixed flow refers to the type of the impeller in the water jet. The ideal shape for your impeller changes depending upon the ideal flow rate and the RPM of your impeller. There's always an ideal shape that we want to pick depending on how fast we're moving. When I first started in my career, these were actually axial flow impellers. As we've had future developments, there's become more of an emphasis on higher efficiency water jets. That's led us to going to mixed flow impellers which we knew were the more efficient option, but more complicated and more difficult to manufacture. So it's important to understand that when they say mixed flow, they're not talking about inventing a whole new technology here. They're demonstrating that they are keeping up with the current demand in water jet technology. I can definitely see why they would stick with the proven mixed flow pump. Developing an impeller and developing a pump is actually a pretty expensive endeavor. So you won't do that too often because you need to recover your investment in your R&D costs for that. Enhanced reversing bucket, that sounds interesting. Uh, they were careful to not show you any of the features that would have made it enhanced. So if I heard that as a sales pitch, the very first question I would ask is, okay, what have you enhanced about the reversing bucket? How is it working better? That's a big thing right there. Optional interceptor integration. These water jets are generally targeted towards high speed boats, which are normally planing boats. Completely unrelated to the water jets is a device called an interceptor. This is used to help and adjust the trim on your planing boat. Now, the basic problem is that a lot of these boats are very, very narrow. Both the interceptor and the water jet have to mount on the transom and you might run into a problem that there's not enough space to fit both devices on the transom of your vessel. So being able to mount the interceptor right underneath your water jet, that's a really handy feature if you have a small hull or you're having trouble fitting everything in. Optimized intake geometry. Sounds good. Uh, generally, the intake is going to be customized depending upon the weight and speed of your vessel. So it would be curious to know what they've optimized about the intake geometry. Or is that something that they're adjusting for every single vessel? Inboard hydraulics is really handy. Hydraulics can leak oil. Hydraulics need maintenance. Hydraulics have very close tolerances. You want to protect them from the sea environment. So the old designs used to have the hydraulic cylinders on the outboard hanging off of the transom where they took a beating. So now that we have the hydraulics inboard, that's quite nice. That's easier for maintenance. 
That's better protection for the hydraulic cylinders. And overall, I definitely like that. And that was Marine Jet Power. Now, notice what they didn't show there? No mention whatsoever about the water jet efficiency. Now, part of that has to do with the fact that your actual efficiency is going to vary depending upon the speed of your vessel, the thrust required. It's not something that you can calculate separate from the vessel. But still, this is something that I have noticed is a trend in the water jet industry. So they are not very eager to give out efficiency metrics for their water jets. Which, whereas if you look at the propeller industry, the power efficiency is usually the first number that we're asking about. So if I was looking at marine jet power, that would be one of the first things that I would really interrogate the sales agent on is to give me some metrics for the water jet's efficiency and performance. Because it, as exciting as this video is right now, it really doesn't give any technical specifications. It was very careful not to provide anything that would allow you to evaluate the performance of the water jet. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. What is ship design to you? Because my job as a professional engineer is to take your understanding of ship design, that general goal, and turn it into technical specifications to make it a reality. So check out the website and let's see how I can take your dreams and make them possible. Thanks very much.